everyone, this is John from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional. And for that, we keep making videos on different topic and on different software related to civil engineering field. So why I am here today? So as we know, we have already started a series on technical structures and we have completed how you can do the modeling and detailing of a RCC building in technical structure. Now, in this session, we are going to cover how you can do the detailing of a steel building. So what we are going to cover in this one? Today, we will discuss about how you can place a column, that means a steel column in technical structures. Okay, so let's start. So guys, you can see this is our interface of the class structure and here we are going to do the steel detailing. So first of all, we will have to go to steel and there we can pick the steel column. But before placing any column, we need to model a footing. Okay, so for that, we will go to the concrete and there we will choose the pad footing and we will simply place the footings over here. Now, the next move is to provide the reinforcement in these footings. So we have already discussed how to do all these things. If you want to learn how to just provide the reinforcement in the footing in the detailed way, then you can watch the previous videos from the Civil Center channel. Everything has been explained in detail on our channel. Okay. And guys, if you are finding this video useful, then you can hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel. So you can see the reinforcement and in footing has been provided and we have already modified the reinforcement in our previous lectures. So it has like uh, pl been placed effectively. Now the next thing is the placement of the columns. So this is a steel column and we will discuss in detail about this one, about the footing and everything. You can just watch the previous sessions. So you can see we have a column with us. Now we will have to modify the property of this column. So let's press control plus four to change the view. And now you can see this is giving you a rendered view. So you have to simply double click on it and the property box will open on the right of your screen. So this is a properties box where you can rename it if you want, then you can also change the profile. To do so, you will have to simply click on the three dots present over there and you can go for any section like the I am for the I section and in I section, I am providing ISMB 400. Suppose you want to provide anything else, then you can simply choose it from here and provide it to your column, okay? Then again, you have the L profiles, you have the Z profiles. So whatever type of column you want, you can simply choose it from here, okay? So we are going to go with ISMB 400. So we have selected that. Now the next thing is about material. What kind of material you want to provide? So by default, it is IS2062. And since I'm working with the internet environment over here, so I am getting these options. If you will work with some other environment, then you may get another options according to the like uh, codes that are present over there. So in India, according to the steel code, these are the materials and we are going to use the 440 over here that is FE 440 now click on apply and okay so next thing is uh, you have to click on modify to just modify the properties then you can also change the class if you want like over here this is class 7 if you want to make it class 6 you can simply make it class 6 and it will automatically change to class 6 then comes a part numbered so for that we have prefix m and c for the assembly number so like this, you can uh, choose the prefix that you want. I would like to keep it in the same manner. Okay, now next thing is the position. So it is similar to what we have learned for the RCC column. That means here is the vertical position. If you want to keep it to the middle, you can keep it to the middle or you can go for down and you can see this has gone down in the vertical direction. If you want to go up, then you can also go up in the vertical direction. Okay, so like this, you can simply move your column and place it accurately in your model. Next thing is about the rotation. So it is to the front. If you want to move it to the top, then you can simply rotate it to the according to the top. And you can also provide some angles if you want. Now I would like to keep it to the front over here. 
next thing is that the horizontal so again you can shift it to the left or to the right okay so like this you can simply shift it i would like to keep it to the middle okay so i will keep it to the middle over here and this will give me the exact view that i want next thing you can see is this column is having some extension inside the footing to remove that you can simply just to keep the bottom at zero level and it will come to the zero level like this now again if you want to change the height of the column to 6000 then you have to simply enter 6000 over here and it will be modified to that dimension okay like this so you can see the dimension has been changed same is for the wrapping tamping and the shortening okay so you have to simply provide some angles over here or you can see the distance over here and it will just change itself according to that so we have already discussed all these things in the previous video now i want to simply save this setting right so i will just press ctrl s and now i want to provide another column over here so i can simply place a column like this over here or if you want then you can also go for copying the columns okay so i would like to show you how you can copy that too so for that we will have to first select the column then we will have to go for copy select the point and then place it over here okay so this is another accurate way of placing the column or you can say copying the columns so guys that was all for this session in the next session we are going to talk about the rafters so stay tuned to this series of tech class structures and we will learn about the rafters in the next session and followed by the beams slabs and everything that is required in this steel structure will be guide taught to you in the series itself so stay tuned to civil center channel like this video share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel also there is one more information if you want to start your career as a building consultant then you will find a link in the description go ahead watch the free webinar and book a strategy call with us thank you